So we're here at Apple Valley. Do you want to introduce yourself? What's up, guys? My name is Sam. Um, on Instagram, do you slide, bro? And this is my 1995 240SX. Okay, let's start with the front for exterior. Um, I got a VIS Invader Hood V2, carbon fiber, Ganadors. The car is painted Toyota Tundra white, but it also has a blue pearl in it. Uh, yeah, I like those Ganadors, they're really classic. Yeah, you gotta have Ganadors if you have a 240. Hell yeah. um, for the body kit, we have a Vertex, Vertex Lang body kit from Japan. It's the rear bumper, side skirts, and front bumper. Also, the rear quarter panel we have um, Origin. I think it's Origin V2, but I might be incorrect. It's V1 or V2, I can't remember at the time. And uh, roof spoiler, we have Duraflex roof spoiler. Uh, also a Duraflex drag wing too. What made you want to do it, uh, that Toyota paint coat? Um, so when I tow the car, I wanted this car to match my truck. Uh, I have a Toyota Tundra that's white, and I just wanted both of the cars to match up when I'm towing. That's so cool. Yeah. Who painted it, or what uh, body shop? Um, I had a, a homie paint. It was like a homie backyard job. Mm -hmm. uh, Edgar in on Instagram. Uh, okay. He knocked it out of the park. He's really good. So. Uh, yeah, you could tell. Like, yeah. You could see the pearl. That driving in here was a little dusty, but uh, yeah. When this car cleans up for a show, it's really nice. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you at Weckfest, dude. Yeah, when this car was at Weckfest yeah. 2022. So clean. <laughs> yeah. How about your exhaust? I uh, seen that earlier. This exhaust is from Able Fab on Instagram. I believe they're out of Canada. If you go on Instagram, search Able Fab. Um, you can pretty much customize this whatever you want. So I did dual three and a half inch turn down blast pipes, and I had the um, the spider web and the spider customized for this. Is this straight piped? Uh, yeah, the car is full straight pipe, three inch from the turbo back. Uh, no cat, um, no resonator, just three inch to these tips. Makes all the good noises. Yeah, it sounds really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully we can get some clips for this video because I don't think we've gotten any audio clips. Well, we could definitely get some clips. Yeah. All right, for the interior, I have a Bride Zeta 2 paired with the uh, Holdfast steering wheel. Harness bar, gauges, typical. Um, I got this dash cover, Velcroed in. Stock passenger seat because my girl likes to stay comfortable and uh, I'm the only one that needs an actual racing seat. We have uh, an ISR Hydro that was installed by my boy Stance S14 on Instagram. He hooked me up with that. It looks like the seat sits pretty low too. Yeah, yeah. street fraction rails. Okay. And I also have a street fraction um, pedal box ish. I was gonna ask you, thing. what's the purpose of those pedal boxes? Cause I, I see them a lot. So with S14s, if you have a left-hand drive one, the exhaust runs right underneath the driver, and uh, your feet will burn up. Oh, no way. Yeah, your feet get really hot, so Street Fraction makes these. And also on the S14s, your feet sit really low. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to like keep your feet elevated with how low the pedal, well, how high the pedals are compared to the stock flooring. So it's just more comfortable. So it almost acts like a heat shield? Yeah, it's like a heat shield for your feet, so oh. you don't burn your feet. That's cool, I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everything else is, like the fabric is everything is kooky um everything is kooky confetti fabric um it's how it came when i bought the car the door cards match the passenger seat and the passenger seat max the matches the rear seats okay so did you already talk about the hydro or what kind of hydro is that? uh this is an isr hydro with the um with the reservoir uh no reservoir it's a inline it's an inline hydro okay so uh, real simple 
No, no dual caliper setup. It's just the stock rear caliper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does Those, it feel good when, when you lock it up? Locks up great. Mm. Uh, the only thing is like no, no real left foot braking when you're on the hydro. Kind of like limited. Yeah, you're kind of limited for the uh, engine. We have an SR20. Real simple. It's, um, it's still bottom mount turbo with the factory um, exhaust manifold. Uh, the reason I like to keep a factory exhaust manifold is because the tubular ones always crack. No matter how long or how, how much heat cycles you put through them, they're always going to crack. So I like to keep the stock cast manifold. But, was that the original plan when you were building this? Um, it wasn't the original plan. I actually went through two tubular manifolds. Wow. Um, I cracked both of them. Both of them were different brands. Um, it really doesn't matter what brand you go with. They're going to crack on you. Is that just because of the design or like the material? It's just the material gets so hot with like a tubular steel. It uh, After so many heat cycles, the material is just going to break down. Okay. Rather than like a cast, um, cast it was cast iron. Is when I say cast. It was way more durable. Uh, it's way more durable, and, uh, and they don't crack. Do you notice a difference in power when you put back the stock one? Or so supposedly tubular steel manifolds are, are flow better. Um, I don't notice a difference because this car makes 500 horsepower. So it's a good. That's a good amount of horsepower yeah. right there. <laughs> Yeah, we have a radium fuel rail. Um, the head just has a cam. Other than that, the head is stock. Um, it's got forged pistons and rods. It has a Garrett G25 550 and a PBM intercooler kit. So if you look, the intercooler kit is really, like the intercooler is right here. So the piping is real small for it. Okay. This it, it spools super quick. Super responsive. Super responsive. Okay. Nice. You got the mission logo radiator. Uh, yeah. I really want a Koyo one, but at the time I couldn't get one, so I just have a Mishimoto one for now. Were they on like back order or? Um, it was so long ago. I wanted a, I wanted one, but I can't remember why I didn't get it. I just know. Well, I'll probably upgrade in the future, but so far it hasn't let me down because I have a, a clutch fan in it. So. Yeah, those are probably, probably one of the best fans. Yeah, I really recommend anybody who has an SR to keep a clutch fan because uh, having E-fans, it puts more stress on your electrical system. What kind of suspension do you have? I have uh, Fortunato coilovers. Mm -hmm. um, nothing crazy, nothing too... Like on the dampening, it's it's pretty much straight out the box Fortunatos. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's 8K in the front and 10K spring rate in the rear. That's pretty uh, pretty soft. Yeah, it's pretty soft. It's not it's nothing too crazy, but it also has a um, GK Tech V2 angle kit. Mm -hmm. So it has a lower control arm. It has the inner and outer tie rods. It has the knuckle. These are actually drop knuckles. So the knuckles alone are going to lower your car um, about an inch. Oh wow. So um, it helps with um, your point of connection on your tie rods. Okay. It, it lowers your car while keeping the stock factory geometry um, within spec. Mm -hmm. So what also the rack is relocated. I have a relocated rack. Um, forward or backwards? Forward. Okay. Yeah, as chassis as you want to move the rack forward as much as possible. Isn't that what most people do? You never want to push it back? Yeah, because you don't want to over-center your tie rods. Okay. If, you're, if your rack's not relocated, um, you're going to over-center and you, when you're at full lock, your steering's not going to want to come back to you. How'd you do that, relocate the rack? Um, you pretty much cut the subframe in half. So the subframe's about this thick. You pretty much cut an inch out of the middle and then you re-weld it together. Okay. Yeah. Did you have uh, a buddy do that? Or I just did it in my backyard. Hell yeah. Yeah, just cool. angle grinder and a welder. <laughs> yeah, it works. I mean, I've seen you slide it before. Yeah. I, mean, I saw that video. <laughs> yeah, and she slides pretty good. I oh, wish yeah. we could do it here, but yeah. we were told not to at the moment. Yeah. We always got next time. Some There's always more events yeah. popping up. 
Yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can shoot a video, of a little bit of street sliding. Oh, dude, that'd be yeah. that'd be so cool. <laughs> I'm with it. Hell yeah. Um, if there's anything out, I think um, we covered almost everything. Yeah, I mean uh, calipers. It's got CTSV calipers. CTSV? Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, four pistons. These calipers were actually cheaper than having like a Z32 option. Mm -hmm. I was actually gonna get Z32 brakes, but um, these CTSVs on, if you go to Rock Auto, you can get CTSV calipers for $100. Well, at the time, this is like three years ago, I got them for $100. Yeah. I haven't checked recently, but. Were these designed for this car, those calipers? Um, all you have to do is get, so there's this company on Instagram that sells a, a conversion bracket if you google ctsv 240sx conversion um there's a bracket that they make out there the bracket is like maybe 200 dollars. the calipers are like 200 dollars, and you get evo evo rotors i think evo 9 rotors and uh get z32 hard lines and that's it just mix and match and parts yeah oh. z32 hard lines evo rotors um and ctsv calipers yeah. This might be one of the cleanest S chassis here. It's 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 pretty up there. Yeah. Is there anything else? Mm. Um, how about like fuel? Your fuel system? Do you have a stock fuel tank and all that? A uh, stock fuel tank, ethanol. It has a a Walbro 450 in it. Mm. Um, other than that, everything's stock. It's still stock hardline. Um, cool. Pretty simple. Oh yeah. Do you want to give anyone like shout outs or sponsors or anything? Uh, I want to shout out my engine builder and my tuner. Everybody knows him. He's the biggest tuner in the RB in the RB world here in Southern California. Adam oh, yeah. Auto. Oh, he yeah. hooked it up heavy. Um, this was actually the last SR he was going to build um, because he's huge into the RB world. He's just going to stick to RBs from now on. Mm -hmm. um, I begged him to do to do me this favor and build my SR with pistons and rods and uh, he, he folded. How long did it take to convince him? Uh, not much, cause we're kind of, we're pretty close. Um, he's cool. Everybody who works at Animal Auto, they're cool. They're actual car enthusiasts. Yeah. So that's awesome. Dude. Big shout out to him. Hell yeah. Yeah, I love the car, man. I mean, I, want, I really want to see it slide, but we always got next time. Yeah. I didn't have tires to slide at this event, so. Uh, We'll get out there sometime soon. It's all good. But I just want to come out here and support my boys who are driving. Definitely. Appreciate well, it. Thanks, man. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, man. It was a good Sup time. Super clean build. Thank you. <laughs>